probably make the uh, back cards because I think there's so much misconception going on in the today's society and in the high color party movement as well. So the song the thing is how people talk about colors in such a this extent I I feel like they are talking a lot of twenty four seven is dumb because the colony isn't even a legitimate unit of energy anymore. It got banned from this physical unit chart a long, long time ago, so that really is no need to talk about it because the thing with the calorie is that the calorie is like the scapegoat for everything. If something in a food is bad and makes you fat or unhealthy, it's, it automatically gets pushed onto the calorie. So if you consume too much cholesterol or too much trans fats, and it's not the cholesterol or the trans fats that are making you sick and unhealthy, no, it's the calorie, right? Uh-huh, it's the calorie, of course. Well, but I think this is so, I mean, <laughs> it's making people sick and it's, it's dumb, it's just dumb. Because it's it results <coughs> contributes to people when they start about themselves. And starving yourself is unhealthy. I think everyone knows that but not really but the thing is it makes people wanna starve themselves because they wanna of course they wanna escape this whole thing with this college makes you make you bad and unhealthy, but too many calories are unhealthy for you. I mean I don't want to escape sickness as well, but the people don't know the truth is again, like in like 99% of the time, the food industry spreads lies if it talks about food. So, hey, what happens if you starve yourself? Well, if you starve yourself, many people think that starving themselves is gonna make them thinner or it's gonna make them lose weight quicker, but the thing is, yes, it will make you thinner than you were before, and it's going to make you lose weight. But the thing is, do you want to lose weight in form of muscle, or bone density, or do you want to lose fat? So if you want to lose fat, don't starve yourself, because that's not going to make the fat go away. It's not going to make your body healthy, a.k.a. get rid of the fat, the excess fat. So, if you starve yourself, first, the first thing that's really, um, like the worst thing of starving, it messes with your hormones. It messes super, it's like, if you want to get a fucked up hormonal level, then starve yourself. Because if you just lose 10 to 15 percent of your like original body weight through starving, your hormones are gonna be out of whack. After 15 or 10 percent, that's like if you weigh 16, 60 kilograms, that's like six to eight kilos. That's like six to eight kilograms. That's not much. So for females, you often lose your period, and no, it's not true that you only lose your period if you're like dangerously underweight and anorexic and you know it happens like the first thing that happens most of the time is that goes is that period which is a signal of your body telling you that something is wrong and that it's begging you to stop basically what you're doing because what you're doing is damaging your body damaging yourself <clears throat> so it messes with your hormones and again Fucked up hormones, yeah. What is that gonna result in? Yeah, it's gonna result in hypothalamic dysfunction or any kind of metabolization disease, like a disease of the metabolization organs, for example, like kidney failure, liver failure, hypothalamic dysfunction, adrenal fatigue, adrenal insufficiency, all that kind of stuff. That really isn't funny, and it takes a long time to reverse it. It's pretty exhausting to reverse it and it really isn't necessary at all. 
So what creates oh and also yeah with the hormones. So if you starve yourself and if you lose weight quickly, you don't even it's not even necessary it's not even necessary that you're underweight. You just need to lose weight quickly. So what happens is that your leptin levels drop and your ghrelin levels rise. So what is leptin? Leptin is that fat burning hormone that everyone is praising and that like everyone if obese people have higher leptin levels it will make them skinny. But the reality is obese people don't even have low leptin levels. So you get what I'm saying. And ghrelin is like the opposite of leptin. It, Makes it stops liberalizes so fat burning and it makes you hungry and crave unhealthy foods and oh and leptin suppresses your hunger for unhealthy foods so, so it doesn't suppress your appetite in general for healthy foods but it suppresses like your appetite so you don't want to eat chips anymore if you have like high leptin levels so that's what increases and this increases due to malnourishment. So, uh, due to malnutrition, and malnutrition often goes hand in hand with a lack of calories or a lack of the right calories, aka of the right foods. So, because there are these people that eat heaps of food a day and still are malnourished. Um, <clears throat> so your body craves unhealthy, aka more calorie dense foods such as fats. The reason for that is um, that fats, healthy fats like nuts and seeds and avocados and, you know, those vegan fats are pretty nutrient packed and they are, you know, they have many healthy nutrients and if you're malnourished, they're going to give your body the nutrients, but the thing is they're not going to give your body the energy to heal itself because if your body would try to create energy out of fat, it had to, you know, change those fats into glucose and that would again be way to way to exhaust them for your body. So if you want to get more nutrients or if you're malnourished and eat nuts and seeds to get the nutrients in always supplement supplement those with a lot of carbohydrates so you even are able to use those nutrients and help your body heal. And the thing is, this just proves that calories don't matter because the thing is, it aren't the calories that make you fat. It is what you know what transports the calories like the trans fats, the saturated fats, the chemicals. It aren't the calories like per se, but because I think. For the food industry or all the people, it's a little complicated to explain that to the society. And too much effort and stuff. They just say, "Oh well, it's the calories." And to say that it's the calories is way better for the marketing because if they said that it were the trans fats or the cholesterol, obviously people will eat less cholesterol or avoid cholesterol altogether. That would mean they would avoid animal products, and that would that wouldn't be great for the food industry, you know, for the meat dairy industry. So I think that's why they do it. And the thing is, um, to become healthy, to become healthy, you need to re like reprogram your hormonal levels. And you need, and the only way to do this is to do that is through a nutrient dense diet. You know, really nutrient dense diet, like many greens, fruits. Um, ideally tubers in other grains than white rice because it's kind of nutrient depleted and probably depleted. Uh, and macronutrients only matter in the sense of like you need the energy to do all this stuff, but your body needs the energy to do all this stuff. And I think um, 80 10 10 is kind of better than 955 if you eat cooked because if you go 955, most uh, foods that are cooked in our knife I five are only white rice and not even potatoes are nine five five, so only white rice. So if you don't supplement white rice with a lot of greens and fruit, 
I'm not gonna get all the fiber, the fiber minerals, uh, the fiber nutrients, the minerals, you know, the antioxidants, not gonna happen. So I think AD1010 is way better um, if you're cooked. But if you're raw, I think you can go 955 because fruits have a lot of nutrients and greens, you know, like all raw foods have a lot of nutrients. So I think you can go 955 if you're raw, but if you cook, I suggest you go AD1010. Because AD1010 is not going to make you fat because it doesn't have too much fat or stuff. Because I kind of noticed that everyone's like, no, it's because I wasn't AD1010, that's why I didn't lose lost the weight. Bullshit. Your body kind of doesn't even give a shit about, well, it, it is kind of important to eat high carb, but AD1010 is high carb as fuck. And the reason you, instead of stressing out about the ratios and the calories, you should stress out about the nutrients and that you get enough enzymes and all that kind of stuff that your body needs. Not about, oh my gosh, I need me 955. No, the fuck you don't. And the thing is, I'm not trying to bash on anybody, but I think, I mean, freely and hard have good intentions. I mean, no doubt about that. You know, like, fruit is the queen. That's right. In terms of nutrients, not in terms of calories. I don't, I mean, calories are calories. If it comes from carbs. I mean, carbs are carbs. That's, you know, the thing is, fruit is kind of better than grains if you want to get enough nutrients because fruit has no nutrients but there are many um like complex carbs that have a lot of nutrients as well but most people don't eat those because most people don't eat barley and quinoa and millet and couscous and lentils and all that stuff most people eat white rice if they eat carbs or potatoes i mean potatoes are quite nutrient dense but you know most people don't want to eat potatoes all day long and the thing is they be like you know you gotta eat enough you know, calories to make your body heal and the reason you need to eat so many calories on 30 bananas a day no it's not because you need to have energy no it's not because you gotta stuff yourself it simply is because if you have a damaged body, I mean, I've, um, when I'm chronometer and I've looked up, like, what's, what you gotta eat to have, like, 100% of your required nutrients, um, of, like, 1000 calories. And it was, like, only lettuce, 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 tomatoes, and all that kind of stuff. Um, so, I think most people, because most people don't eat, like, only lettuce, because it is nutrient dense as hell, but it doesn't have any calories, but it, so, to, um, get all the nutrients through food, or even cook food, you gotta eat a lot, because if you wanna heal yourself, you need more nutrients, you'll eat like 300%, and to get that, you have to freaking kind of stuff yourself to a certain extent, yes. But it's not negative because the thing is really with calories, no one get. I mean, the body doesn't give a damn about the calories if it's if you eat it in calorie abundant diet. It's like, well, I got too much energy, I can spill that over. If it's trying to heal, why the heck should it induce that, um, you know, with the genesis? Which you can't eat without, you know, the essential or required fatty acids, which aren't found in carbohydrates. So why should it do that? And why does everyone be like, oh my god, dietary thermogenesis only works to a certain extent? Yeah, well then it does, but what's so wrong with having some glycogen in your muscles in just stop stressing about the calories. They really don't matter and it's making people sick. And I, I kind of think it's so ridiculous how people are trying to, or like these anorexic people are trying to lose weight and get skinny or thin or whatever. Maybe they're trying to die because they're depressed, but like they're trying to get skinny and they don't even educate themselves. They don't even ed educate themselves at all. They just type in like, how to lose two kilograms a day? What the heck? Two kilograms a day? Are you freaking kidding me? And the reason 
no one is really willing to get into the science and understand it. Everyone's just like kind of too lazy, I guess. And it's just sad because if you don't have the knowledge, you're you're fucked because then you don't know what's going on. You don't know what to do. So yeah, that's all I wanted to say about curries. I guess and never starve yourself because it doesn't make no sense at all to just get into rhabdomyolysis, which is your um bone, your muscles catabolize themselves. It just no, it makes no sense. Please don't do that. It just makes you more sick than you already are. If you want to starve yourself, you're sick. Just, that's what I wanted to say. Yeah, but well, that was my video about curries. Well, it was a little and no, I don't know. It was a little bit, it was a little bit educating in that you know, got a little bit better understanding of what colors are and that they matter because they don't. And yeah. So, yeah. Bye.